He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Hardcore Survival. We are playing with the extra rule of engagement that we have to keep the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal equipped at all times, which will turn all guards hostile. Here we are in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. We finally found a temporary and half-decent base of operations. I got all organized and got my carry weight down to a minimum. I've got some key ingredients on me. Namely, six B, six Dragon's Tongue, and six Fly Amanita. And I got a batch of Blue Butterfly, Blue blue Mountain Flower, and Wheat. We're going to make some Power Potions out of those. And I'm going to make some Combat Potions out of Canis Root, um, Imp Stool, and more Tapanella. We're going to collect some more, more Tapanella. And we're going to use the Human Flesh as well. But for now, we have a Light Armor Skill Trainer at our disposal. Let us make good use of this and go on a power leveling light armor operation. Special op to power level light armor. We need some armor, we need some defense. Right now the situation with my light armor is it's just before level 21. So before we buy some light armor skill training, let's just go out and engage in combat with somebody, get our light armor up to 21, and then we'll come back and start buying some skill training. Um, and I also want to collect some key ingredients outdoors. Let's get busy. Okay, here at the Dark Brothers Sanctuary you can collect seven nightshade. Two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. And there's also two red mountain flower here. We're gonna collect every single red mountain flower we can find. Okay. Got that. Let's go for a little ride. Down to the south to the road. At the road. I'm gonna collect all the mountain flowers here off to our left, including two more red mountain flowers. What did I say? Two? Maybe three. Three. Yeah. Total of five. And another a more tapanella here. Done and done. And the purples, doesn't really matter, but yeah, I collect those anyways. Waste not, want not. Done and done. Now we're going to take this path to the west. Up here. I find the unicorn, um... A little unusual. Every time you dismount, he advances forward a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's because I said it, right? Right, Dagger? Okay, so we got that uh, at the log here. The log points up to an abandoned campsite right here. There's actually a, a sneak skill book right there. We're not going to take that yet, but check the knapsack. You might find some viables. Valuables, rather, silver emerald necklace and some food. And we'll take that potion. And there's three more red mountain flower right here. Two. And three. Done and done. Alright, now, from this abandoned campsite, showing you the map where I am. Okay, just southwest of Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I'm gonna point up the hill. See that cave on the compass? That's where we're going. Haldir's Cairn. And you gotta push to the right. To the left, rather. To avoid a bear cave off to the right. So just stick to these rocks on the left here. Carefully go over the mountain, and we're going to drop right in on Haldir's cairn. Alright. Out here. There's some more and more Tapanella here. I followed it. I was doing a practice run. I followed this road. That's like the end of Skyrim, like the southern, southwestern end of Skyrim. There's actually a, a gang of goblins down there. Just surprised, surprised the hell out of me. They're not that powerful, but um, yeah, they're a little annoying the way they come at you. 
Okay, in Haldir's Cairn, we're going to collect a whack ton of mushrooms. And there's also some ghosts in there that we can use to level up light armor. This is going to be a key part of our power leveling light armor strategy. Okay, so basically every mushroom you can find, pick them all up, doesn't matter. Blister wear, white cap, especially imp stool. Looking to come out with 20 imp stool. Okay, that's enough shrooming. Let's see how many we got. 20 imp steel this slag call it this slag call. I think there's 21 actually, but uh, I'll settle for 20. Let's see what these guys got. Take their chunk change. Does anybody, somebody have a pickaxe? Not this time. Alright, now, to release the ghosts. Oh yeah, now, hopefully you brought some kind of like shield. <laughs> I'm telling you now, yeah. Yep, bring a shield. This will increase your armor rating. So bring up your shield and your healing spell. And we're going in there. So take Agris's journal. You can pause the video and read this up if you so desire. Done. And take the key. Here we go. And let's load up a fire arrow. up to the top and a couple of ghosts are going to appear there as you approach I'm going to try to one shot one of them easy easy got him okay now this one we want him to hit us there we go increased light armor let's just get out of here Uh, okay, you blister where it. Okay, just leave him alive. Kill one, leave the other alive, and let him whack you. However many, however many whacks it takes to level up light armor. Excellent. All right. To get quickly back to the Dark Brotherhood, where are you going, Dagger? Okay, just off to the left, the right side of the entrance, right over here, right over the rocks. I'm down here, behind the field, bomb down here. There's the abandoned camp that we just uh, went through. And here is the path down to the Dark Brotherhood, it's that simple. Now, let's buy some light armor skill training. And because we have the Thief Stone and the Rested Bonus, we're going to get a bonus on each skill training, so this will push us close to the next level once we buy 5 rounds. See? The light armor is like... the marker is there. So we're going to buy like 5 times. That'll push us up to 26, but then it'll be like up to about there. I'll teach you how to use it and hopefully everybody has about 4600 gold. To spend it all on skill training. Fortunately, he's not a merchant, so we can't get our money back by selling him anything. Good luck. And, try not to get yourself and we have to sleep to level up. Points it to magic until further notice. Keep that prick point for now. Let's go back and engage the ghost again, get another free level. See, we're pretty close to level 27. It's just over the hill. Easy peasy. 
and let's make sure let's check our stats it's gonna get in the habit of checking the stats there we go um, let's have some grill bleaks see if we can get well fed again there we go well fed all right same dealio up to the road over here find that little path going up to the uh, abandoned camp find the log on the hill up to the abandoned camp push towards Haldir's cairn keep near the rocks on the left so you don't run into the bear cave over here wait here dagger I'll be right back all right shields up Scotty find the ghost engage him this time we're gonna have to like take one for the team stand in and take one for the team hey buddy remember me let him hit you heal up as you go and we're gonna bail out as soon as he levels up light armor and uh, you can hit hard in that there we go, and we're out of here. Keep him alive. If you really wanted to get ballsy, you could go into town. And, um... <laughs> engage one of the guards. They'll take you down with, to within an inch of your life, so that's kind of risky. There we go, so... Lighter armor up to 27. Same dealio. Up here on the right side. Find the kind of field going down. Go down towards the abandoned campsite. Make a little jump. Find the path going down to the GB Sanctuary. Now let's go buy some more skill training. Alright, got some more business for you there, Nazir. Here we go. Up to 32. And we are just short of uh, the next level, so we don't have any skill training purchase rates. So we're going to have to level up. Let's go make some potions. Starting off with B, Dragon Stunk, and Fly Amanita. And did that do it? A little more? Nope. Okay. Let's try a little bit of Blue Butterfly, Blue Mountain Flower, and Wheat. I did it. There we go. And while we're here, we can sell some potions to the vet. Some I call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Can't wait to hear all about the next person you murdered. <laughs> it's really bizarre hearing a little kid say that. I can't wait to hear all about the next person you murdered. That'll be fun. Make a nice bedtime story. Okay, level up. Points into magic until further notice. Keep those two perk points for now. We're going to put one into custom fit. We could do that now, but that will slow down leveling up. Um, yeah, so we're going to save that. But that is the idea. All right, back to our friendly neighborhood ghost at Haldir's Cairn. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, Haldir's Cairn. Up here. Find the path, find the log going up to the campsite. 
up to the campsite, point towards the cave, stick to the rocks on the left side, stay away from the bears. Over we go. And there we go. This ghost is gonna be like you again. <laughs> All right, I'm back for more. Let's see what you got this time. What's your buddy got on it? Oh, we'll take those arrows and the fire arrows. Excellent. And the dagger. And the meat. You can keep everything else. Come on, you get hit harder than that. That is, is that all you got? There we go, light armor up. And we are out of here. Alright, back to the DV Sanctuary. Whoop, watch it now. Go, go, okay. All right. Light armor up to 33. Let's push it up to 38. you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Here you go. Welcome my brother. Welcome to our second. And once again we need to get another set of skill training purchase rates. Let's make some more potions. Double check to make sure you still got the rested bonus. Yep we do. I am but a humble instrument of There we go. Blue butterfly, blue mountain flower, and the rest of the wheat potions. Make them all. When you run out of those, let's start working on our paralysis poisons. Canis root, imp steel, which we have a lot of, and more tapanella. And when you run out of canis root, you can use the human flesh that you got from the Arantino boy in Wilhelm, imp steel, and more tapanella. And it's like I fell short of leveling up. That's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. It's been quite a boom. Looking like a Same view, Leo. Yep, this is going according to plan. Last time with the ghost. How much money do we have? Yeah, running short. So we're gonna have to go to town. And I think it's time for a little payback. After being run out of town on a rail, out of Ripton, Windhelm. Getting our asses spanked. I think it's time for a little payback. What are you gonna do, Slack? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Insert diabolical laughter. <laughs> Go hostile on me, will ya? Okay, last time. Who dead comes 
Come on, give it all you got. Let's hustle it up here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go, come on. Swing and a miss. Yeah, that's AJ. What are you scared? Okay, restoration. Come on, give me some light armor. Light armor. You're running out of gas here. Come on, here we go. Okay, there we go. And he levels up. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you do now, eh? Alright, you just go on sensing presences. We're out of here. Alright, now. Babette's out of money. And we're out of money. We're gonna have to go to town. Now is the time to get custom pit. And we're pushing to get light armor to 40 so we can get Agile Defender 3. Okay, now this is important. You want to back up your horse right in the Dark Brotherhood entrance. Right about here. Actually, let's put him a little, bury him a little further. As deep as you can into this entrance. Right about there, yeah. That's perfect. Alright, so we're going to town. We are going to town for several reasons. We're going to sell off some potions, plus we're going to go on an elves ear run. Infiltrate various domiciles here in Falkreath. You know what? It's the wrong time of day. Let's um Let's sleep till morning. of food. We can afford to do this. Alright. Sleep till about, I'd say 7 in the morning. Would be perfect. Oh yeah, we have to level up a person. Okay. There we go. Keep those two perk points for now. One we're going to use on Agile Defender 3. With your horse there. Are you ready for some action, Dagger? Because this is going to be uh, something a little more challenging than you've been you, you've been used to so far. So far, you've just been a mule. Now you're going into heavy combat, and I am hungry. Let's take care of that right away. We definitely want to be satisfied and well fed. All right, good, excellent. Let's get her a sneak on. First stop, the Hall of the Dead. Now there's a guard patrolling in front of the Hall of the Dead. We're gonna kill him. <laughs> just like that, just like that. He's way above our pay grade, but we're gonna kill him anyways. 
Okay, collect these nightshade here in the uh you bring up your bow and let's see what's happening. Oh here, Corey. Okay, good. Looks like I was kind of expecting it. this. Got to go. I saw him coming around the corner. There he is up there. Shoot, the, the courier stuck. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, once you go in, make sure you put your bow away and bring it up again to go invisible just in case you get seen. If they come in, they will, you'll be invisible. This is my new procedure now. Looks good. Okay, first thing. Pay a hundred bucks. Your last hundred bucks to increase your health by 25 points. Okay, so we got a boost to our health. And we're going to grab all the ingredients in here. Most particularly, five L's here. Just grab everything. And all these pheasants and rabbits here. And there's some more L's ear over here and some garlic and frost miriam. Just grab everything. Great leather strips. Missing an L's ear. Should be five. There it is right there. There you go. Alright, got five L's ear. Alright. Now, when we go back outside, bring up your shield. Get that ready to go. Healing spell in the right hand, shield in the left. Get that ready to go. And we are going to go out and take down our first guard. <laughs> yeah, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. It's a cliffhanger! Yeah, we're gonna do this first thing next video. Thanks a lot for watching! And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, if you know what to do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there, and see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack to help keep real walkers alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.